स्विच बोर्ड रूम आई होप माई वॉइस इज क्वाइट लाउड इन ऑफ दिस इज अनदर रूम दैट स्पेशली एंड स्पेसिफिक टू गैस टैंकर Uh, this is very specific to gas tankers, and I am not sure about any other crude oil or any other tankers because I have never had this on those. But uh, in this room, there are, as you can see, there are a lot of switchboards, a lot of electrical machinery, the control stations for them. These are basically your uh, reliquation plants, your cargo pumps, and anything related to the cargo machinery would be located here. All the electrical items of that part would be located in this space. For now, what you see here, yeah, this is like your cargo compressor number two. That's the big panel. Of course, it's a huge motor. No wonder. Uh, you have your HP, your hydraulic pump. This is specific. So, I mean, special for your gas-fired engines, your nitrogen plant or your uh, nitrogen generator. Then there, this ship looks very big because we have a cascade reliquation system. Because uh, we need to reach minus 88 degrees for ethane, so we have. Uh, your cargo compressors and a refrigerant compressor as well uh, on another day on another, another time i'll explain to you about the refrigerant compressor so you have refrigerant compressors then the glycol system heaters all the panels all the pumps the cargo pumps the fuel gas supply pumps which are mounted in your tanks they are all here yeah this this cargo switchboard room can also have additional items like for example here we have your main engine uh, the ups for the kongsberg panels the main engine power supply units and the ups units the back of your switchboard remember this mat is a requirement it is supposed to have yeah this is the sticker maximum voltage 17000 volts so it's tested for 17000 volts all your uh, high voltage equipment on board the even the 440 equipment must have these mats these are special mats back side this back side also has the uh, glycol uh the heating panel the supply pumps unit the generator power supply units are here these are the transformers that are there yes we've also stored a spare set of mats so when we look for these insulation mats under the panels you just flip the mat over it will have its approval its certificate uh, working voltage so we need to have that there these are the panels again and i hope you know what is this this room is protected by 3 2 1 yes you are right so this room is protected by foam because these are the foam nozzles the foam will be uh, will fall down here and slowly engulf this entire room there are a few more nozzles on that side they are never also uh, as a vantage point and the best point for the foam to enter and save the fire and uh, extinguish the fire is from here always the door will have a co2 extinguisher since uh, the most kind of fire most likely fire here would be an electrical fire this cargo switchboard room generates a lot of heat because there are a lot of electrical equipment contactors transformers so they generate a lot of heat and all the control equipment the brains of all these guys the pcbs need to be cooled otherwise the resistors and the capacitors on them can get damaged so this is our ac the air condition for the cargo switchboard room it's of course cooled by fresh water exit door Uh, number one, and the door number two is that side. This yellow stick that you see is a safety hook. Can you see this? Forty-five kilo volts. That means if I hold this at one end and that touches a live cable of forty-five thousand volts, I still won't get electrocuted. This is to pull out somebody if somebody is stuck onto the switchboard. Somebody is stuck, you know, onto the switchboard and he's getting electrocuted. I take this and I pull the fellow out. Yeah, I catch him and I pull it out. So this is a safety hook. This is not specific to gas tankers, but it's a good recommendation to have on uh, many ships. So I believe we are done with the tour of uh, the cargo switchboard room on this uh, gas tanker. All right, guys, take care. Bye bye. See you. Hope you learned something. Do like, do share this video. I think I might not even edit this one because hopefully the footage looks good to go. Bye bye.